Hello guys, welcome back to the Civil Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. In today's lecture, we are going to analyze this simply supported beam with two different concentrated loads. So before going to analyze this beam, I would like to request you guys that please subscribe to my new channel. I have given the link in the description. Now to analyze this simply supported beam with a two concentrated load, 2 kN and 3 kN, acting at different points on the beam. So these are the supports, which is a hinge support A, and here is a rotor support B. So this is a hinge support, so it can resist or it can take the vertical reaction, R A and R A X. This is a horizontal component of the reaction, but it cannot take this horizontal reaction it will be equal to zero because there is no horizontal load acting on this beam so it will be only r a and here it is a row support so it can only take the vertical reaction so it will be r b it cannot take the horizontal load so now to find out this r a and r b these both are unknown so we can use the Equilibrium equation the summation of moment at any point equal to zero and let's suppose we assume that summation of moment at point a equal to zero So and we also assume that the clockwise moment is taken as positive and the anti-clockwise moment is taken as negative This is our sign assumption It should be kept in mind that these are just sign assumption. You can also change it But you should keep this assumption throughout your problem Let's suppose this is clockwise positive and anti-clockwise negative. So I should keep these sign assumption throughout my problem. So summation of moment at point A equal to zero. I'm using this equation to find out the unknowns. Now at point A equal to zero. So I will find the moment at point A. So this load 2 kN creates a moment about point A. And it will create the moment in the clockwise direction. So it will be positive because clockwise moment is taken as positive. So the moment we know that moment is equal to the force into momentum. So summation of moment at point equal to zero. So this is force is two kN multiplying it with the momentum. So momentum is the distance from this point up to the point where you want to find out the moment. So it is four meter. So this is R. So R is here 4 meter. Again, this load also creates a moment about point A and it is also in the clockwise direction. So it is again positive plus 3 into moment arm. Moment arm is the distance from this point up to this point A. So this is 4 plus 4. So total is 8. And now this load creates a moment about point A. It is acting upward. So it is creating the moment about point A in the anti-clockwise direction. And anti-clockwise is taken as negative, so it will be minus Rb multiplied with the momentum. Momentum is this point distance from point B up to A, which is 4 meter plus 4 meter plus 4 meter, which is 12 meter. So summation of all the moment about point A equal to 0. Now if I shift this wheel into the right side, so it will be 12 Rb. This will become 8, and this will become 24. So Rb comes out to be... This comes out to be 32 divided by 12. So Rb comes out to be 2.66 kN. So this is our support reaction at B, which is 2.66 kN. Now to find out this Ra, to find out Ra, we can use this equilibrium equation that summation of vertical force is equal to zero. And let's suppose Upward forces are taken as positive and the downward forces are taken as negative. And you can also use this equation summation of moment at point B equal to zero to find out the Ra. But let's suppose we use this equation because it's more simple. So the upward forces are taken as positive and the downward forces are taken as negative. So the downward forces are 2 kN and 3 kN. So this is minus 2 and minus 3. And here it is 2.66 which is acting in the upward direction so plus RB and here is RA is also acting upward plus RA 
summation of all the vertical forces is equal to zero now if i shift this value and this value into the right side so i will get ra here this becomes out to be plus five and this will be minus rb so ra comes out to be five minus rb we know that it is 2.66 so R A comes out to be 2.33 kN. So here R A is equal to 2.33 kN. So this is the way how to find out the support reaction for a beam. Hope you guys understand and don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily 7 engineering videos. Thank you for watching our video.